Hello everyone and welcome to a Saturday Geeks tutorial with me, John Parker and Major Kelling. Uh, recently we had a comment from Devran Hassan and asked us if we would do a um, NLS and HRO tutorial setup video. <laughs> um, for this week we've decided that we're going to show everyone how to set up an NLS console. Mm -hmm. And then next week what we'll do is show you how to set up a HRO. Uh, TARDIS console. Mm -hmm. If you'd like uh, a setup tutorial for other ones such as um, Wits, Wits Navitech, Vortec, Navitech or Vortec um, do leave us a comment and we will gladly do one of them. But for now we'll get the first two out of the way and mm -hmm. move on from there. So John, you've got all the devices. We're going to switch to you so we can show how we're going to do this. Okay, take it away. Okay. Okay guys, hello and welcome. <laughs> I've got here a, a re-delivery of the Hellbent console that we reviewed quite a while back. So I'm going to go and pretend as if we've just gone ahead and purchased an NLS product from their store. Um, so what we do is, once you've got the product, you'll get this one little object called the NLS TC60 console and then the name of the console you purchased. Just drag that onto the ground. You get this lovely glowy spinny ball. Just click it and it will tell you hello. Thank you. And then you get all the objects. Just click the copy to inventory button. And there you go. There's loads of stuff will open. Just go ahead and close those for now. Um, I've got a couple of them. Ignore those. You'll get a, a folder like this. And all the stuff will be inside it. And by the way, after a, while, after a while, guys, this will disappear. It just said 30 seconds, so it should disappear anytime soon. But inside your package, you'll have two note cards. You'll have the quick start guide. And then you'll have information about the T60 console itself. It is recommended, of course, to make sure you're reading these thoroughly, because uh, oh, no, <laughs> there it goes. It's killing itself. Oh, um, it is recommended to read these thoroughly because, of course, NLS wouldn't put them in there if you weren't meant to read them. They do explain how to standardly set up uh, and fly the console, as well as any information about the individual things you get with the console. So do make sure you're reading those as well. But I'm going to give you the basics on setting up the actual console itself, so let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look into the hood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the hood onto the ground. Uh, now you'll see this little thing, it's actually the hood, it's just upside down I think. Yeah. All you're going to do is right click and edit it. And uh, by the way, some of you will be using the original SL viewer. If you are, when you right click you won't see a pie menu, obviously you'll see the menu, but it's, the buttons are the same, so just make sure you just click edit. Um, and on this window go to the content tab. And in here, you want to put your exterior. Now, the exterior is um, this here. NLS T60 exterior, blank type 40B. Of course, it'll have a different name depending on which console you've bought, depending on which exterior comes with the console. So, guys, I just found it that I made a stupid mistake. The exterior isn't actually that box. It's, the, um, it's inside it. So you have to res that out as well and then extract that the same way you did with the other one and then you'll get the exterior sorry guys I wasn't quite thinking when I did that <laughs> so I should be able to put not the prop version but the, the actual version directly into the hood but now apparently I have to drop that onto the ground because second life there we go put it directly in and then reattach for, it for future purposes all, all um, exteriors actually will start with the, the, uh, the squiggly line and now I'm going to um, take that back into my inventory and it should go to the top of the folder. There it is. So I've got two versions now. Um, and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to add it. Now, I'm not going to wear it because if I wear it then something on my avatar might disappear. So you have to add it to your clothes. So you add and it should pop up in the top left corner here. I'm just going to go ahead and resize it. I did that by the way by right clicking and editing. And now doing that you'll see that T60 hood is spewing um, information that it knows about me because I've used NLS before. But for you it might say you know that you haven't actually got a home set or something like that. Don't worry about that. You can do that later when you get the console and you've, you've understood how the console works. Um, so now we're going to set the console itself. So to do that, quite easy. In your folder you'll have a Type 60 core prim. Just go ahead and res that on the ground and you'll see this um, rectangle, this square. Now, if you look at it, you'll see that on one side, it's a different colour than all the other sides. This is the side that the console will res out on. Okay, so the doorway, that the add-on door that this, um, this core will be placed at is where is that on this side. Okay? So in there, just right-click and edit it, and you want to put the console inside there. So the console would be the Hellbent console prim here. 
drag that into there. And now, if I reposition that so that it doesn't uh, go in the wrong place, just make sure that it's not going to res um, incorrectly on our land. I don't like the positioning of that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate that so that the console goes that way where Jack is right now. Because if I look, if I focus my camera in that direction on the minimap, you can see our land stretches in that direction. That's our parcel there of land. So I just don't want it to go on other people's parcels. Okay, so now I'm ready to res it. I'm going to click it and I'm going to click res console. And then it'll ask me which one, because you can have multiple consoles in this, by the way, guys. Slap them all in there, take it back into your inventory, and you've got a whole um, package of consoles that you can res just from one core. But you will get a core with each console you buy, but you don't have to use them all. You can always, you can always use just one core. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to close my inventory out the way for now. And it'll just say console room building. So just give it a few seconds. And here we go, guys. So the console will show, and it'll say, can I teleport you? Yes, you can, because, of course, we like automatic teleporting. And the console should boot up. There we go. Now, as soon as you have raised your console, the hood should automatically link to the console. You can confirm that by clicking the cog icon here and choosing core. By doing that, you should see that your core immediately shows itself. If it shows itself, then you know that this console is linked and the core has linked itself to this console and everything's nicely linked together and working. And this is how you'd actually delete the console of, uh, afterwards once you've used it. Yes, you can click that and choose Dell console and it will delete that or Dell room if it's a room. Um, now just to make sure that everything is working fine, I'm going to click the console and just turn it on and just see if my hood you know, has linked properly to the console. So I'm going to click power on. There we go. There we go. So now I should be able to set the exterior using the set exterior button from the cog to that uh, to that exterior and now I should be able to summon. So yeah guys you have to unpackage the exterior in the in the folder as well. And then yes you will get another folder called NST60 exterior with a prop version which is just uh, just that no scripts in it and then you get the original exterior which is what I've just raised from the hood and there you go as you can see it's landed the console stopped so everything is fab there we go so guys if you've got multiple consoles raised and you want to use the console if you say you've just uh, had this console uh, uh, raised and you raise another console somewhere else and you want to use that console to activate it you first of all have to click the core and choose register and then it will re-register the the console to the database and then on the power option choose activate and that will make it so that um, this console is the primary console and my hood will then use this console okay I'm gonna go ahead and demap from the hood so there we go and then I'm gonna delete the console so to do that once it's took off okay I'm gonna click the core and choose delete console and there we go, after a few seconds it should remove it from the database, delete all the prims. And now that's done. I could technically right click and take that into my inventory to keep storage later. I don't need to, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But you get the picture. And there you go, that's done. And then if you want to update your hood in, any, in, in with new exteriors, just drop it. Or you can detach it and res it on the ground, but I'm, I like to drop mine, which takes it out your inventory temporarily. Um, edit it. Drag the exterior into it. Oh, that's the wrong option. Drag the exterior into it, and then when you're done, you can either retake it back into your inventory, and then add it uh, like we did at the start, or and because I'm lazy, I like to walk right up to it, <laughs> and then just directly, oh, not my ear, directly um, attach hood to top left, and it should snap back and load itself properly. And that's how you do that. So just to quickly cover, guys, unpackage it. Uh, grab the folder in there. There's an exterior uh, option. Drag that out. Get extract that. You've got two folders and the console and the exterior. Get from the console folder. Get your hood out. Drag it on the ground. Put the exterior from the exterior folder into it. 
um, take it back into your inventory, add it, not wear it, add it, reposition it. Um, all quick thing, if you can't find the hood, if the hood's gone crazy and gone somewhere you can't see, but you're definitely wearing it because it says in your inventory, right click another hood on your, on your screen, like that, and edit it. And then just use your scroll wheel to zoom out. And as you can see, it makes all your hoods quite tiny. And you should see the hood somewhere floating in eSpace. Just click that, reposition it for you, and then click on the close on the edit window. And everything should snap back. Uh, once you've done that, um, res the core. Put the console in the core. Click the res. Res it out. Check it's registered by using the cog icon and choosing the core option. Um, once you've paid it on and took it off using the controls, summon it to test it's all connected, all, all well and connected. And then you can take it off again using the option and then use your console as you would any other. And of course use the activate button to switch consoles if you have multiple consoles. And there we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you, John. Thank you for that. Um, so, folks, thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you. And um, join us next week for the tutorial and set up the HOL console. Mm -hmm. So, until then, see you soon. Bye bye. And let it get started, guys. Bye bye. bye. That is all we have for today, folks. Join us again next week on another Saturday Geeks video to find out what adventure we embark on next. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and comment on the video below. Remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. Till next time. Take care, stay safe, and remember, let, let your, your geeky side out. out. Toodle pip. Toodle pip.